Hey, it's Johnny Gru from OnManTraining.com. I want to talk real quick about, I might have talked about it before, about the minimum wage and how people feel that they now deserve $15 an hour, whatever it is, just to show up. These people, these kids, whoever's doing this, if you're 40 years old and you are struggling and make a minimum wage, well, I got to ask, what the fuck have you been doing for all these fucking years to where you're, you're only capable and valuable enough to make minimum wage? Oh, I know. It might be that seventh cigarette break you're taking outside while you're scrolling through your iPhone and not doing the job you're supposed to do. Ah, that's the fucking problem. You know, these people out here will never learn anything, and they won't. It's easier to complain and have the government fucking take care of you and raise the money up. But see, these people are too fucking stupid to realize. That six, eight dollar pack of cigarettes, six, seven, eight dollar pack of cigarettes, now is sometimes going to be a ten dollar pack of cigarettes. They're going to be right where they fucking left off. They're morons. Okay? These people, and I'll tell you what, these people to go to college, they're some of the biggest morons. Because they signed up for stupid degrees that are absolutely have no value whatsoever and they don't understand why they can't get a job making six figures so i guess if they get the government they petition the government to change the laws and to make all businesses raise their minimum wage of 15 dollars an hour they're all going to get jobs well no because if you just look at walmart what are they doing they're putting self-checkouts in lots and lots of them almost everywhere you go more and more self-checkouts well each one of the sec checkout stations was a person's job. So all these numbskulls do is keep themselves out of a job. And I just use Walmart as an example. I don't even fucking like Walmart. But people like this will never earn their way. Okay? And if you are a social justice person or a person that advocates for the $15 an hour, it's because you as a person have no value. You have no value. You bring no value to your job. That's why you make the little bit of money you do. And then you complain about it because you don't want to put in the time or the effort. See, that's how it works. See, the business is there not for you. It's there to make profit for the owner. If you're not the owner and you are working there and you become a liability, you're not worth keeping. And people don't understand that. You get to keep your job with the value you bring to that position and when you become more valuable you are then usually usually put up higher in pay or get offered better jobs you get more slack and that's just the way it is it's always been that way and it's going to continue this way my opinion is if you can't keep a job and you are a capable human being and you lose your job and you can't get another one you should starve no welfare, nothing. Because you're too stupid to go out and realize that you're the problem. It's not the business you work for because when you went to that job, they hired you, you shook hands and said, I will take the pay you're paying. And then, and now you're unhappy. It's kind of like the school teachers today. Yeah, fucking school teachers. Today's school teachers. I'm not talking about in the past. Today's school teachers, they complain they, make, they don't make enough money. They don't make enough money. Well, did they not know the money that teachers made before they decided to go to college to earn a degree to become school teachers? So these are the educated teaching people to be educated? Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. Because I don't know anybody that goes into a job or a career that doesn't have an idea of what that job could pay them. Like a gender studies degree. I don't know. What? Middle Eastern peace studies. What? I don't know. What? 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 I know somebody. I know somebody that took out a business degree and works in the union as a pipe fitter. Didn't need to go to college to get a business degree to be a pipe fitter. Kind of, kind of a waste of money, wasn't it? Hmm. But this is what we got today. This is a, one of the big problems we have in the society. Everybody thinks they deserve something. They don't deserve anything. You deserve what you earn. You go out there, you fucking earn your way. You earn your way, you'll have more confidence. You'll have more pride. You'll feel stronger. You'll, be a, you'll actually be a man. A man 
who actually goes out and does a job and does a job well and is rewarded for it for working hard and being the man that they can they can count on to get the job done problem is that's not how it works i go to a people say oh i'm going to go to a job and if i get the sniffles i'm going to stay home i'll never put my job first well jerk off they're the ones that are paying your medical bills maybe you should take a little bit better care of yourself so you can actually go to work produce something so you can earn your fucking right to keep your fucking medical and your insurance you get what i'm saying i hope so because if not you're an idiot later